All right, guys, so while we wait for everything to get fixed in Star Wars Battlefront 2, me and Swanee have been doing some thinking about when do we actually think precisely when the new Clone Wars content is going to come out. Since we have a general idea from that roadmap that came out at the end of June, we thought, when would it make the most sense, based on what we've already seen uh, so far from EA, when this stuff will actually come out? So, Swanee... You had a prediction on your mind. Why don't you start us off there? When do you actually think that we will be getting Obi-Wan and Grievous, and when do you actually think we'll get Anakin and Dooku? Okay, well, I'm assuming that those are going to be two different seasons, because why else would they say uh, fall and winter? So I'm assuming... Why else would they be Yeah, separate? they're going to be like season three and four. And what I've noticed so far is that, I mean, look at December... All the way up until Solo, which was in what May slash June, it's, it's like five five month gap, and then they said fall, so from the Solo season all the way up until fall, that's like another five months. So I mean, it would only make sense if it's five months from then for it to be March, and then the final season would be in March, but I mean. Fall is technically, uh, I think it's the end of September, all the way through uh, mid-December. So September through December. And they're not going to start it the, like, midway through September. It, um, so my guess is probably October. It's probably at the beginning of the month. So October, it's a little before... I mean, if they release in October, it's before all these other games get launched. So they don't have much competition. It would make the most sense. So my guess is October and March. Because March, I mean, it, it feels like it's spring at that point. But technically, it's still part of the winter. So I'd say at the earliest, it would be April. And then, but my guess is March. Wait, at the earliest, it would be April? Yeah. Oh, I mean, no, no I said that wrong. <laughs> I said oh, so, that wrong. Yeah, I was going to no, say, something didn't make no, sense. No, it would be like March going into April. At the earliest, it would be uh, February. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, okay, I, I agree with you on the first part, because I do think that uh, Obi-Wan and Grievous are coming in October. It would make the most sense, because they don't have a ton of competition yet. If they do it early October, if they do it late October, they're basically right in the middle of all the big games coming out. So they shouldn't wait that long. Doesn't mean they won't, but that would make the most sense. The only question I have on whether uh, this is going to be that far apart is whether they'll consider it like they did with the Han Solo season and made it a part one and part two. Then it would make more sense if they were close together. That, that's the hope, I think, of people, is that this is a Clone Wars season part one and part two, and not that they're two completely different seasons. You could very well be right. It is the worst case scenario, so usually that's the right case scenario, unfortunately. But yeah. I guess the hope is that it'll be like a part one and part two, and then it would be plausible for it to come out in like December instead of like a whole new season in like February or something. Although that also brings up something Dennis said a long time ago, whether we still believe that's true or not, where he said content is not necessarily dependent on seasons, which hasn't really proven to be true because so far almost all the content has been a part of a season. So I'm going to... Yeah, unless you kill an Ewok hunt, which they keep bragging about. Yeah. This, that Ewok hunt, that didn't they come in a season. Everybody loves broken. Ewok hunt. <laughs> So that's a whole other story. I'm going to guess February because I, I, I think even for EA, calling March winter when most people don't consider March a part of winter, even though technically it is. In fact, most of March is technically considered part of winter. I still think that people, I still think that's not what they're going to do. I even think they might have it hoping to come out in December, but it won't because they won't be able to get it all together in time, and it'll be delayed till February or something. So I'm going to go slightly mm -hmm. less yes, negative, but, remember, but still pretty awful. They said Season 2 was coming soon in January, and we didn't get it until mm -hmm. May slash June. So if they say winter, 
You're being pretty optimistic if you think they're <laughs> we're aiming for December. Uh, they might be aiming for it, but they're not going to hit it. I know someone... No. Someone on Twitter was like, no, fall is in December, and so is winter. So the first part of the season will be at the beginning of the month, and the last part of the season will be at the end of the month. I'm like... <laughs> What? Like, really? That's what you you guys believe after all this crap that has gone wrong with this game? Like, you have to imagine worst case scenario because it's all... And then imagine worse than that. Okay, well, we're imagining a pretty bad scenario, but there is worse. There is a worst case scenario. And I'm not being... This isn't like a ridiculous worst case scenario. This is just a worst case scenario where they get it all delayed again. And the roadmap is completely wrong, even as extremely unspecific as it already was it could just still be wrong they could still say look obi-wan grievous they're not ready so they can't get released till december and then anakin and duke will get released till next summer that's not completely insane unfortunately we're not at a point where mm. something that negative or that awful is not kind of plausible i mean that's where we're at so i mean that's the real worst case scenario as bad as your scenario is it can yeah. get far worse. And you could go a year and a half without a new Galactic Assault uh, well, map. That is not completely unplausible. There's obviously a there's a huge disconnect between what the developers and the community manager think and the community itself. Because Ben seems to think that a hotfix is just a small patch, that, that and that's it. A hotfix is when there's something wrong in your game and you get it out, ask for fast as possible like a day after two days after and you you fix whatever the problem is that you just screwed well, I up i guess from their perspective and then it takes them like two three weeks two or three weeks but for most most two, developers three weeks. that's not two or three weeks it's, it is a small patch but it's a small patch that comes out quickly very quickly as in like a week and a half ago yeah. quickly or two weeks ago quickly not any time in the future quickly mm-hmm. so you're right. There is a weird disconnect where there's a different set of standards for this game than most games. And I'm not just talking about Fortnite. I'm talking about tons of AAA, AAA games release hot fixes hot. <laughs> Quick. Oh, yeah. Grand Theft Auto used to do them all the time. Because yeah. they'd have a patch and there'd you be like a use few bugs. Whole and then there'd be like Fallout new money glitches. Excuse. And they'd fix it not, that not day. Uh, Fortnite beta excuse. Because other AAA games have done it much, much faster. Like Grand Theft Auto, like um, mm-hmm. the Bethesda games as well. These games come out way quicker with hot fixes. I don't. That's a whole other argument too. But you're right though. There is this weird disconnect in standards. Um, that roadmap shows a massive disconnect in standards. That's not a roadmap. People yeah, expect well, far better than this that. disconnect. But it should leads into this roadmap because they said that the roadmap can change. And, of course, he's going to make it sound like, oh, well, it's going to change for the better. If it gets finished early, it can always be released sooner. That's but there's no way that stuff's getting released any sooner than what we think. Because, I mean, just look at it, how often we get these updates. They're making, like, no progress because they have a patch, then it goes two or three weeks, and then they have to have a hot fix, and they don't make any progress because that hot fix is just fixing all the crap that they messed up in the patch before. So if the game wasn't full of bugs and these developers actually knew what they were doing, then we would be we would see continuous progress. Like we would have a patch, and then the next patch, which would be like two weeks later, instead of them fixing all the bugs, they would be adding new things like hero tweaks. And hero improvements and weapon improvements and weapon balancing and all this good stuff. But we keep going a step backwards each time. And if they can't even get regular patches to work the right way, what makes you think they're going to get this DLC out sooner and it going to be like working? Like I just, there was an it's not going to happen. obvious change somewhere. Because when this game first came out, sure, it wasn't perfect, but it certainly wasn't bug-ridden. It had issues. Um... And it needed to be fixed. And it seems like after that whole pay-to-win issue, it seems like they almost forgot how to how to develop games. They were like, wait, our pay-to-win thing didn't work. We don't know how to make any games anymore. We don't know what video games are now. 
I don't know what happened <laughs> there. I don't know if half the staff just disappeared and no longer is allowed to work on it and they're undermanned or something. But it's just ridiculous that a AAA game, a Star Wars AAA game, with a huge fan base that's still in love with this game, even though it's got all these problems, and they still can't seem to do the basics of what a live service game requires. The, these are just basics. This isn't even a live service game. This is just basics of keeping yeah. a game alive at all, and they can't seem to do it. So I'd yeah. be pretty negative at this point about future content just based off what we're seeing right now and how long it takes them to fix what we have right now. I, I'd be pretty scared to see what they're going to do in the future. And you're right. They're certainly not going to advertise something later uh, than they can get it out. Like if, if, if they had any prayer of getting Anakin and Dooku out in like October, they're going to advertise for October and then disappoint you later. They're certainly not going to say, wow, we luckily got it done two months early. No, <laughs> they're not going to do that. They don't advertise no, like that. They're not, they're not going to do that. Yeah, so it's uh-uh. it's not looking good. Because, no, especially when people expect something, especially like the ones that uh, don't follow this game as often as like everybody else. There's tons of people that don't follow this game. Like They don't follow the news channels. They don't follow the Reddit. They don't follow. They just play the game. And those people that have a disconnect, they see that there's a roadmap. They see fall. If it comes, for example, before fall, they're not going to know that it's yeah, even out. It would, it would make sense. And it's... so they're not going to advertise. Yeah, they're not going to release it earlier than what they intended. It, at the best case scenario, would that it would be it would be at the beginning of fall or the beginning of winter, but you're not going to get it any yeah, sooner there's than There's definitely that. no chance of, like, Obi-Wan suddenly popping up in August or Dooku and Anakin popping up in October. There is no prayer of that. I can, I mean, I will bet everything in my no. life on that. I'm just hoping, against all hope, that we somehow get something like October, December. I think that's the best case scenario. I don't think that's going to happen <laughs> because it's far too good. But well, that's the best we can prayer for at this point. They have to avoid the competition. I mean, they have to. If they want to make any money off the skins, why would they release uh, Anakin or Obi Wan and Grievous in the heat of all that stuff? So it would make sense if they did that in October, and then the final season with Dooku and Anakin, you would think that they would release that as far back as possible to also avoid all the, the games coming out. Well, the nice Christmas. thing... They don't want to compete like, with if all these... There's like five or six huge games yeah, coming out. Yeah, but if they release in January, I think that's that's a pretty decent little um, chunk of time in between the big releases of games, because most of them come out in November. The other problem is you actually have a decent amount of games that come out in like February to March. February to March tends to be like a mini hot zone of video games, like Anthem will come out in... Uh, February, that Crackdown game's coming out in February. I th- I don't remember when the Cyberpunk game's coming out, but I think it might be coming out that time, too. But I had to check on that. But point is, that's like another little mini hot zone. So it's not the best idea to come out at that time, either. So th- if I was then, the best time would be probably January. It's like the little sweet spot in between the two little hot zones of video games. Um, but the best case scenario would be yeah. get Obi-Wan and Grievous out in September. Or August would have been great because you'd be no, really sad. far away from those games. We have to wait over over one year, regardless of if it's the beginning or like in the end of December or if it's at January, February, March. You have to wait over one year before you get a map for Galactic Assault in this game, which is the most played mode and the most requested map like mode for maps. And we get it a year later. Yeah, it's like that. We've only had one map that's new <laughs> I don't know. at all. There's no word that's worse. I worse guess than it's the pathetic. only new map in any game mode that wasn't a ported over from the first battle. Yeah, part. we've only had one map. Period. This is true. Then they said there's no plans on porting over any new maps because there was such back- backlash. Nobody wants them. And it takes manpower to for them to Which, port them in over. That case, I'm and they would probably just port over that. a small map anyway. Perfectly fine with them not putting any man work into that, as long as it goes into something else. <laughs> but it's just more yeah. stuff we, I guess, won't be getting. I'd hope that would go towards us getting stuff, but mm-hmm. it's hard to tell at this point. 
So, I mean... Yeah. I don't think we're going to get anything extra. Like, they, they keep saying they're going to change the roadmap and update it and blah, 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 blah. But they, there's been no mention of reinforcements or blasters or star cards or anything extra. N- none I of think, that stuff. Like, I think like, we'll get something extra, but I don't think it's going to be anything major like i don't think we're going to get droidicas certainly not going to get any more maps or heroes um the best maybe the best case scenario that i can think of is we might get like uh i think i could see us getting new modes they've already announced some of that but maybe like maybe that one reinforcement that was supposed to come in a long time ago and just been sitting around uh, i don't even remember what it's called now that might come in eventually i i totally forgot what they called that uh, yeah, clone sentinel that arc trooper was part of it a sentinel class i think is what it's called that is the best thing i think i could see and i don't expect droidicas to be a part of that because it's going to be too complicated for them to do that so i think that it's that's the best we could hope for maybe some star cards i doubt we get blasters and i mean it just based on what we've seen i, I we're going based on what we've seen it's not like yeah. we're coming up with this negativity out of nothing this is what we are used to. Not very. And we've helpful. been wrong. Every time we've been wrong, it's because we were too positive. We've never been wrong because we're too negative. Uh, so. <laughs> not, I'm just not telling really. you how it is. Um, unfortunately. The the only good side from this, like them being released when they are, is that if they're a disappointment, which they probably will be, like full of bugs and all kinds of crap then I can just play a different game because there's so many games coming out in those time periods. I can just say, I can just put in Battlefront, be like, well, Obi-Wan has three arms or Obi-Wan's cool abilities messed arms. up and his lightsaber doesn't work. <laughs> he just turns into Grievous. Grievous's animations are bugged and they removed him from the game. <laughs> Obi-Wan just, I can just play something else. Sometimes four arms. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, he has, they mix up the animation somehow. <laughs> between He's just Obi-Grievous. <laughs> <laughs> they just make them one hero. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. So it's not that unrealistic. Yeah, that, that, that's our take on this. Uh, what do you guys think? When is uh, season three slash four going to come out? Are they going to be right next to each other? Are they going to be uh, about March slash uh, October and March, kind of five months apart for each season, like I predict? Let us know down in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, check out another video, and we will talk to you guys next time. Will you join me? Accept your fate. I grow impatient.